Hey viewers, welcome back to another video of Biopharmaceutics and Pharmacokinetics series. And today we will discuss about the half-life and various methods to determine the half-life of a drug. So let's get started. Half-life of a drug is basically a pharmacokinetic parameter. It is the time taken for the concentration of a drug in the plasma or the total amount in the body to be reduced by the one half or 50% of the initial dose. Half-life is basically a secondary parameter that mainly depends upon two primary parameters, clearance and volume of distribution. With each additional half-life, proportionally less of the drug is eliminated. However, the time required for the drug to reach the half of the original concentration remains constant. The formula for the half-life of drug is T half is equal to 0.693 over K. The elimination half-life of a drug is a constant parameter and is independent of administered dose and route of drug administration. If the drug is eliminated by first order kinetics or by diffusion process. Half-life is increased by increase in volume of distribution and by decrease in rate of clearance. But in some disease states like renal failure, the volume of distribution increases but the clearance decreases, resulting in an unchanged half-life. Let's take an example to understand that how elimination half-life of a drug is a constant parameter and is independent of administered dose and route of drug administration. For example, if a person taking 100 ml dose of a drug with a half-life of 15 minutes, then after passing one half-life or after 15 minutes, half of the drug that will be 50 mg is eliminated from the body. After 30 minutes or after passing the second half-life of a drug, the half of the 50 mg of the remaining drug will be eliminated from the body that would be 25 mg. And this process is carried on until the total amount of the drug is eliminated from the body. Now, if we discuss about various methods by which we can determine the half-life of the drug, there are two basic methods. Number one is graphical method and number two is non-graphical method. So let's first discuss about the graphical method. Here you can see a semilog graph in the picture on which we have a plasma concentration of drug on y-axis and time data on x-axis. To determine the half-life of a drug, you have to choose any two concentration values from y-axis that are exactly one half of each other and corresponding time values from, from x-axis as shown in the graph. The difference between two time values represent the elimination half-life of that particular drug. So, if we talk about non-graphical methods to determine the half-life of a drug, we can determine half-life of a drug non-graphically by knowing about the rate constant, clearance, volume of distribution, and area under the curve or AUC with the help of following formulas. Here you can see different formulas by which we can determine the half-life of a drug by using any of the following formulas respectively. If we know the value of rate constant, clearance, and volume of distribution. You can also notice from formula that half-life is directly proportional to volume of distribution and inversely proportional to rate of clearance. So if we increase the value of VD or decrease the rate of clearance, then half-life of that drug will be increased. So here are some examples of elimination half-life for selected drugs. As you can see from the table that dobutamine has the shortest half-life of about 2.4 minutes. Acetyl salicylic acid has an elimination half-life of 0.25 hours. And morphine has an elimination half-life of 1.9 hours. Chloroquine has the largest half-life of about 984 hours and that is approximately equals to 41 days. If we uh, talk about the clinical implications of half-life, half-life determine 
the length of drug effect. It also indicates whether accumulation of drug will occur under a multiple dosage regime. Half-life is also essential to decide an appropriate dosing interval and it is also essential to determine and maintain the steady state plasma concentration of that particular drug. So that's all for today. Please also watch my video on first pass metabolism as elimination half-life and first pass metabolism are related to each other. If you like this video, please share it and give it a big thumbs up. And also let me know in the comments below what would you like to see more. Thank you so much.